Hello there, this is Toe of Games, and welcome back to Demon Hunter. Last time we uh, had a little bit of a, a little bit of an adventure here with uh, Council Knight Ernest. Right after we, of course, uh, defeated the uh, defeated the seductive legion, and now we're apparently looking for another another one. I get, I think there is an ex demon hunter who lives in Blizzenda. Blizzard Town, down in the south. He runs a soup kitchen for the poor and donates whatever extra funds he gets to the Oracle here in Cater Town. Howdy! We have all sorts of great treats! Let's see what they have. Okay, so they have a... Um, they have stuff for creating, like recipes and stuff. Grape and orange cake. I think we will actually buy one of each because... We haven't been doing any crafting so far, and at some point it might become inevitable. So that's why I'm uh, <laughs> sort of buying him just in case. Same thing with high potion and at the recipes. Okay, there. Is, okay, I know, I know. Yes. Blyson Fields is such a nice pla place. It is very easy to get lost if you don't stick to the main road. And you are selling Demon Hunter weapons. Uh, which sword am I actually equipping now? I might want to check that first before I do any shopping. Alex has a L1Y sword. Technically, I guess I could select another sword as well but I think we are going to stick to the Y sword however I'm quite tempted to to go for for the uh, better one so we're gonna sell something now um, I'm pretty sure sharp dagger is something we can sell okay so let's buy this Okay, so now we have some uh, up updated gear for Alex here. Oh yeah, we have this as well. But we're definitely going to go for the L3 Y sword. And we can sell the old weapon for some, for some money. I think we're also going to sell the green sword. Okay. So now that that's out of the way, I think here... We, okay, we don't have any money now. But we could get some armor from that place. What do you have to say? Oh, you're a demon hunter! You guys are awesome! Well, that was... <laughs> flattering, I guess. Praise Lord Zion. The Oracle has an amazing gift, but I wonder how she came into possession of such power. Yes, the Oracle is the person we are looking for at the moment. Uh, what's the matter? Bruh, I totes ran out of dead air, man. Mm, what? Fave herb, man. I'm all out. Are you injured or something? Now I'm just fending really bad, man. I haven't had my herb in like a day. Can you help me out, man? Sure, but you have to start making sense. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Can you bring me like 30 irrit herb? Ah, you're going to make medicine. Yeah, I can to totally do that for you. <laughs> medicine? Oh yeah, uh, sure. Just don't take too long, okay? Alright, I'll be back once I have them. Yes, okay, so basically we have a quest to support the drug addiction of a hippie. I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> what do you have to say? I like watching the lilies float in the water. And you. I've seen the Oracle a multitude of times, and every single thing she predicted came true. The Oracle has an amazing gift, but I wonder how she came into possession of such power. I was to become a demon hunter, but on the night before my ceremony, I came down with bronchitis, and nobody got time for that. Wow, so many references to memes and stuff. Our town is small, but it is a very busy place thanks to the plaza and the oracle. Let's see what we have here. This oh, oh, interesting. There's a quest here. Hey there, sugar. 
Hi there. <laughs> what you here for? Did you hear about my special promotion? No, but I love me a good deal. Oh, baby, I'll give you a deal. You can't refuse. Awesome. What are you selling? Wait a minute. You don't know who or what I am, do you? A pretty lady that sells things. Wow, Alex. Yes, adult things. What do you mean by that? And then... <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait! You're a prostitute! I prefer the term escort. Uh, I'll have to pass, thank you. Your tiny little self probably wouldn't satisfy me anyways. Tell you what, find me a little fun for the night and I'll give you a nice little present. If the present involves touching you in any way, shape or form, then I'll have to kindly pass. Boo boo, relax, I'm not trying to get freaky naughty with a little kid anyways. I'll give you this big box thingy some guy gave me a few nights ago, I have no need for it. What do you say? What exactly do you want me to do? There was a man I hung out with a few months back, whom I grew a terrible crush for. I want you to look for him and ask him to come and pay me another visit. That's it? Just ask some guy to come over and pour you again? <laughs> Don't be a little pervert. Will you do it or not? Yeah, yeah, sure. Where can I find this guy? Last I heard, he lived in Elkin Village. He has beautiful silver hair, dreamy green eyes, and a big fetch. Okay. <laughs> Enough for crying out loud, woman. Desire to hold me tight. What did you think I was going to say? Nothing. I'll go find this guy. Do you happen to know his name? Of course I do. What kind of a cheap whore do you think I am? His name is Dick. <laughs> of course it is. Booty call. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this city, this town is incredible. <laughs> my sister and I used to live in Elkin Village, but after my sister got caught sleeping with one of the villagers' husbands, we had to move because the husband's wife started threat threatening us, saying that she was going to go on a stabbing ramp rampage. I'm speechle speechless. <laughs> I don't know if I want to complete these, these quests getting weed for that guy and and for this person get a whatever <laughs> hey oh hey oh this must be the place Robert I think you're right Fernie hey guys look who we have here hey Alex he just couldn't get enough of how awesome we are. We had to come stalk. He had to come stalk us. There is a very high probability that you are correct, Robert. We are pretty awesome and sexy. I'm not stalking you guys. Ha! <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just poking fun at you. Hey, would you love to stay in? Ch would love to stay in chat, but we've got a visit with the Oracle. What are you guys seeing the Oracle for? We're going to ask her to tell us where the next legion is so we can go kick kick its butt. Hmm, why didn't I think of that? Because you're not as fabulous as these two guys are. Wow, Mogo is going against us. You shut it. Off we go, Fernie charge! Robert charge! Oh my goodness. These people. This is such a weird place. When I grow up, I want to be a salesperson and sell cool things to adventurers. It's so scary leaving town with all the demons and monsters lurking around. I'm surprised any sane person actually travels anymore. Follow this path and you will see the famous Cater Cliffs. They're the resting ground for many demon hunters who say, screw it, and jump off to their own demise. Um. This building used to be a church, but one day I lied and told everybody by that Father Tucci grabbed my butt because he wouldn't let me drink any of the holy... Wh what? <laughs> wow, what is the th deal with this town? The Oracle told me that my cat would run away on the night of the blue moon, and she was right. Okay. Rumor has it that the Oracle has become ill. I hope she gets better soon. Uh... Wow. Wow. This place is called Wet and Wild and 
We are dressed like a woman. This is totally not shady at all. Every single guy that I've hit on in here has rejected me. I just don't get it. I get the feeling I know what's going on here. To be quite honest, I have no idea why this place is full of half-naked men dancing around, but I like the music, so I'm staying. Um... I... Talk to me. What do you have to say? You're cute. Well, yeah, I mean, I have a dress, so... I am quite cute. Absolutely. This totally beats the hell out of that concert hall full of slutty girls. Uh, well, they all turned out to be demons, so I wonder... I can't tell if that's a flat chest shirtless lady or a flat chested shirtless man. I think I'm gonna go hit on it. Abs, thighs, pecs, biceps, mmm. Wow. I am speechless. There's a, there's a quest here. Judging by this city, I'm pretty sure he has some really questionable quest for me. <sighs> well, I don't want to get in, into too much detail, but the other night I got totally wasted and ended up going home with a guy from this club. Long story short, I've got this really bad itch down... Oh my goodness. Dear God, I should have minded my own damn business. That's right. It, it's just really bad. My friend told me that a full heal will help me go away, but I don't know where the heck to get one. I guess this is where I come in. Oh, if you would please bring me one, I would ever be so in your depth. Okay, I'll go try and find one for you. You're awesome, I'll wait right here for you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, Cater Town seems to be, uh, how should I say it, like the red light district of this world. Maybe that's the idea. It's definitely not what I expected to see. And now we have this place that contrasts with the town. I saw a boy go... Oh my goodness! What the heck is everyone saying? Rest in peace to all the demon hunters who gave up and ended their own lives. So they've got a suicide cliff here as well. My 14th husband volunteered to be a demon hunter and then jumped off this cliff just to get away from me. That bastard. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what to say anymore. This place is freaking insane. This cater town. It's madness. Wow. We still have lots of things to do around here, Alex. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, unfortunately we can't leave this place yet. This here is the mansion of the Oracle. Yes, I know I have to go there, but... Oh, Miranda is there. Um... Uh, yes, so I think we should battle Miranda now. Yes, that seems like a sensible thing to do before we continue with the story. Isn't this water pretty? Very pretty, yes. He and I spent hours here af after meeting with the Oracle, just staring into this little pond. He? My partner, silly, who else? Oh, right, sorry. Oh yeah, the partner who basically died, right? You never told me his name. Why do you want to know his name? I I'm just curious. Hmm, his name, his name was Dimitri. Dimitri? Dimitri and Miranda, huh? What town were you guys chosen from? Funny you ask that, Alex. We were chosen from this very town. Oh. You know, most people fear the day when it comes to finding out who will be drafted into the trials. Not as lucky as we were. We found out years and years before that happened. The Oracle? 
Bingo, we knew it all. The time, the day, the spoken words, the journey, and regrettably, the end. So that's what you meant back in Elkin Village when you said you knew it would happen, how he would die. It didn't stop him though. He knew the price he would pay, but he said he would do it, no matter the cost. He sounds like a true hero to me. He would laugh so hard if he ever heard somebody call him that. Anyway, enough of this sad talk. You know the deal. Talk to me when you wish to duel again. She's quite an interesting character. She definitely, like, has an interesting backstory and with every encounter we uh, find out more about her. I really appreciate that. I like that. Are you ready to take on my third powerful demon? Yes, we will do that. Chimerga, let's show Alex how we obliterated those legion. Wow, that's kind of cool. This big mama Jamma was one of the first demons I ever captured. Let's see how you do against her. Why don't I get like a lot these kind of demons? I have like these small ones. Um, let's go for Miranda first this time. I think I've usually gone the other one, the other way, but now we're gonna do it like this. And we will do Tom once again. So as I was saying, yeah, um, Miranda is an interesting character. I think I uh, compared her quite a few times to like this sort of rival from Pokemon or whatever. But she's definitely her own thing, and in a good way for sure. Uh, let's do wound there just because, and you will cure. Oh, actually. Actually, never mind, we're gonna do Mono Visitor and we will do that for sleep damage and protect. Seems like a good idea here. Yeah, the wound is gonna help us a bit later on when we get the sleep damage. Okay, I see it now. I will strike there. Oh, oh yeah, of course, that's the usual thing Miranda does. Yeah, she always says that our weaknesses are revealed. But she keeps lo losing anyway. And I think we're gonna win this one too. It's actually tougher than I thought it would. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. No. 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 No, 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 no. Ah, oh, this is bad. We only have two party members and no healing items. I would say we're kind of screwed. We gotta hit with this one. The infinite strikes. Please don't tell me she's gonna survive this. Wow. We are... Quite a predicament here. <sighs> okay. We just gotta keep using these potions. I know it's it's gonna mean we can't use them later, but there's nothing else we can do. Cursed fog, yes. Whatever it is, we're gonna go for it. We're desperate here. Oh shit! No way. No freaking way. No. Oh my god. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm just screwing up, ain't I? Aha. I s okay. Okay. So we are doomed, basically. We are going to lose this battle. isn't anything we can do really with one person I'm just gonna use all our items I don't know yeah 
we're goners alright. And we're out of potions as well. Ah, I should have stocked up or something. This is one last infinite strikes, and then we are doomed after that. Did a lot of damage for sure, but we're not gonna survive this, I think. <sighs> Nothing to do with... Ah, okay, it moved faster. Dear Lord Zion, you are powerful. Yes, true. Sit still for a second and I will mend your wounds. Thank you for that. No problem, if you care to try again sometime, I'll be here. Well, at least it wasn't a game over. Yeah, that was kind of my own fault though. I was way too confident about that. Uh... Okay, so we're gonna heal here. And we're gonna go and visit the Oracle now. I do feel kinda like my pride has been damaged by that battle, but yeah, we'll be fine. That was tougher than I imagined. Okay. I do hope the Oracle gets better soon. I really require her guidance right, right about now. I was hoping the Oracle could read my fortune, but she's apparently out of commission. I came all the way out of here from... out here from Elkin Village too. Elkin Village, eh? Is this the Oracle? Welcome, Traveler. What brings you to the Palace of the Oracle today? I was hoping to meet the Oracle and ask him or her some questions about my Demon Hunter trials. The Oracle is unable to see any more Demon Hunters at the moment. Oh? But I just saw two Demon Hunters that I know come in here. You're right, and I told them the same thing I told you, and then they teleported away. Is something wrong with the Oracle? Maybe I could help. Hmm, you know, you're the first person to actually care to ask. I just like to help people, is all. Very well, you seem trustworthy enough. The Oracle uses a lot of her strength to tap into her powers. She is, after all, immortal, like you and I. She overdid herself a few days ago, while looking into the future of a poor soul that came here seeking her assistance. What happened? Sometimes, on very rare occasions, the Oracle will look into the future of a person who has a very grim ending, or a person who is tainted by a demon. What do you mean by tainted? If a human is possessed by a demon and the Oracle taps into the mind of that person, then sometimes the demons can attack the Oracle, not physically, but spiritually. So the person that the Oracle tried helping was possessed and it caused the Oracle to become ill. Exactly. I was unable to make it to the Oracle in time. By the time I got to her aid, the demon and possessed person had already gone. Well, what could I do to help her? There is a hermit who lives in the swamps down south. This hermit is a master at creating elixirs and potions. I was hoping to pay her a visit and, and see if she could come up with something to help the Oracle. I would go myself, but I must stay here and protect the Oracle. Out of curiosity, why didn't you ask Fenny and Fernie and Robert to do this? They were here literally five seconds before me. I was going to, but as I said, they teleported away before I could finish talking. I see. Well, okay then. I'll go and pay a visit to this hermit and see if she can help us. Thank you, young demon hunter. The Oracle and I would be ever so grateful. It's my pleasure. How do I get there again? Exit the town to the west and go through Pendon Route towards the south to get to the swamps. You will notice a giant mech guarding the bridge, but if you present him with this badge, he will let you pass. And we receive an oracle badge. Just out of curiosity, why is there a mech guarding the entrance to the swamp? There is a horrible demon infestation in that swamp, and the robot is there to make sure nobody goes in, and nothing gets out. Could the infestation be due to a legion? I couldn't tell you to be quite honest, all I know is that without the mech there, the demons would swarm both this town and Accusity. It must be a very powerful mech then. Sure is, it was given to us by Magister Beatrix herself. Nice, well, I'm just wasting time now, I'll be off. Tell the Oracle to hold on a bit longer, we'll get her cured. Very well, carry on. So, wow, that was quite a lot of text. Uh, another secret door. Do you have anything to say? You almost made me drop thy things, okay. 
The Oracle isn't feeling well, and she has hardly come, come down out of her room to eat. I worry. Okay. The Oracle is the shining star of our town. Everybody here loves her. She takes it upon herself to feed those who are unable to supply for themselves or their families. Lord Zion has truly blessed us with a human angel. So, the Oracle is female. That is good to know. I came to see the Oracle, but I guess she's feeling ill right now and not seeing anybody. <sighs> so, we've got ourselves another quest. Speaking of quests, I realized during our doomed, doomed battle with uh, Miranda that the item I need for one of the side quests I already have, which is a full heal. So we're gonna go back into this shady looking bar. I found you a full heal. Shh, I don't want any everybody to hear. Oops. Thank you though, I totally learned my lesson, man. Good, save yourself for marriage. What? Oh, I'm still going to hover around. I'm just going to make sure to turn on the lights next time to see if they have any... Oh dear. I get the feeling, feeling I should have brought you like 10 of those. Well, at least we got a good reward out of that. Yeah, this... Oh man, this place is like crazy. Just insane. Um, there was another... Oh yeah, this person wanted weed from us. We do have irrit herbs actually, but I don't know. Uh, we have six of them only. Okay, so we gotta do a little uh, herb picking there. Um, okay, so we're on pendant route here. We're supposed to go down south. I do recall a way for us to transport ourselves. Um, yes, we can teleport here. Um, there was someone in Elkin Village we wanted to see for one of the quests. So we're gonna do that now, actually. Yes, well, <laughs> I'm already here, so might as well. Hello there. Hello, th hello there right back at you. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you had any roses that I could buy from you. Uh, it just so happens to have a few dozen. How many would you like? Uh... Wait. Pleasure doing business with you. A dozen roses? Wait, that sounds familiar. That sounds like part of a certain quest that we did not complete in this village that I totally forgot. This guy. Nice, you got the roses. I'll just slip this note here. Perfect. Now for the delivery. My fiance is currently in AccuCity. She likes to hang out in the jewelry there. Her name is Nina. You got it. Wow, and she ma <laughs> he makes us do that as well. Oh dear, is this the person we were supposed to meet? Somebody killed the Legion! Hooray, now we can finally relax a little. It was me. Okay, let's see. Okay. I think it was like a silver hair, right? Good luck to you. No. You're our hero. Can I find the person who that stripper wants for another visit? Oh dear, it's probably this one. Yes, this is the one. My wife kicked me out of the house because she caught me sleeping around with another lady. No offense, but if that's the case, why do you have that stupid girl on her face? Green on your face. <laughs> it's a disease, asshole. It's called smiley faceitis. Oh, my bad. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> It's okay, it might look like I'm always cheaper, but I'm actually quite miserable and manic depressive. Are you dick by any chance? The biggest one around. Wow. <laughs> Disgusting. Anywho, I've got a message for you. Oh? Skunt Skunktia from Cater Town has asked to seek you out and see if you would go pay her a visit. Wow, really? 
Yeah, she said something about a special promotion and something about two boys and one cup or something. It's a dream come true. I'll go to her right away. Thanks for the message, kiddo. And he just teleports randomly. I should go back to Skanthia and get my reward before they start getting down and dirty. I totally don't want to see that. I do- oh. <laughs> you shoddy perv. Oh my goodness. Mago, you just revealed a party for yourself. I wish I didn't know. We will teleport to Keratan now. The soul emblem is really useful for us right now. <laughs> oh dear, let's get this over with. I haven't gotten in any in months. This is going to be us. Okay. Thank you for fetching him for me, kiddo. I promise you a reward, so here you go. Uh, we get some extra speed and a treasure chest, which is definitely worth it. Probably. We have to see what's in the treasure chest, of course. Let's see what's in here. We get a pot lid. Yes, we want to open another one. And we get a high potion. And an yet another one. And we get a pot lid. Another one of those. How many treasure chests do we have? Damn, I forgot to check my bag in a while. Wow. Even more of this? Walmart top. Okay, finally. But we still have other treasure chests. 11 T2 treasure chests. Wow, we got some ingredients there. Ingredients. Um, wooden shield. Beanie. Uh, wow, a level 2 sword. That's quite good. Wooden shield. Another wooden shield. I think I'm going to sell most of this stuff to get some money. Damn. Wow. So much stuff. A third one of those. A, a beanie. Another one of them. A target top. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> Jeez, that was a lot of stuff. Let's go for this. We have a bronze shield. And that's it. Now let's see if we can actually equip any of this. Um... Okay, well, since I just used, like, the... Huh. I'm gonna change to this one, actually. Target Beanie of Endure. Okay, never mind. What is this? What is this? Uh, do I want more speed or more defense? I think I'm gonna go for more defense here. Uh, what about... Okay, we have nothing for the rings and stuff. Let's, uh... Okay, we're gonna just optimize for these guys. Um, and see if we have any... No, we, have, we don't have any rings here. There's a lot of stuff to sell, actually, when I think about it. Uh, we had another quest we wanted to complete in um, AccuCity. Yes, the roses. We have to t deliver these roses to this girl because the guy is too much of a chicken to do it. <laughs> it's not him. Wh what was it? It w was in one of the... Um, he actually told me where the girl is, but I totally forgot. He said something about a... Was it a casino? What? No? Was it a casino, was it? Or maybe it was this? Oh yeah, jewelry! Yes, yes. Oh, well, he's a man. Hello, are you Nina by any chance? Depends on who sh who's asking. Mm, your fiancé sent you these. Okay, we hand in roses. First he burns our dinner. Then a bird shits in my eye because of him. And he thinks he can just make up for it by buying me some roses? What kind of girl does he think I am? Um... A sappy girl, I tell you. These are beautiful. I can't wait to make babies with him. Oh, damn it. Um, we get 300 experience and 3 treasure chests. 
The rewards for these quests are quite plentiful, actually. Let's see what we have in this. Another beanie. Target top. And finally, a wooden shield. We should probably do a little bit of shopping, but not here. We should do that stuff in... In, um... Cater Town here. Uh, whenever I can find a proper shop here. I suppose this will... No. Oh, all right. Here. Now we have a lot of stuff to sell. I think we can sell that. Oh, they oh, they're actually different swords. Um Um do we want one with like more agility? Maybe. Let's get rid of this. We don't need that one. Uh, wooden shield? No, we don't need that. Oh, this would actually... The silk headband would actually be good for us. Um... Wait. We can't wear it? Uh, it appears we can't wear it. So we're just gonna s sell all of them? I don't know. Let's sell that one, and... Damn, so many items! I don't know which ones to use and which ones not to use. Let's get rid of these. Uh, we're gonna quit for now. Uh, speaking of quitting, um, I think we have already played quite a long time, so we're gonna end it off here. I'm just gonna go to the edge of the uh, next area, so we're gonna get there fast next time. So, next time on Demon Hunter, we will hopefully encounter less creepiness and and actually beat Miranda. We kind of lost lost there, so it was kind of embarrassing. And um, of course. We're gonna save the oracle. Uh, but other than that, yeah, we're just gonna keep rolling. Defeating legions. So, uh, see you guys next time. And wait a minute. Okay, yes, this is. Oh, see you guys next time. <laughs>